I just came across these amazing animations made with Blender and D5 the other day. They look well made, so I wanted to show you guys these interesting artworks. By the way, this video is brought to you by D5, which is a free real-time ray tracing renderer that is known for its high speed of rendering, in addition to real-time iterations and high quality renders. D5 Render is actually compatible with Blender, 3D Studio Max, SketchUp, ARCHICAD, Revit, Rhino, and Cinema 4D with live sync support. It is widely used as a design visualization and animation tool for interior and landscape designers, as well as architects and 3D artists in general. It also has many other cool features such as real-time ray tracing and a workspace denoiser, as well as a new feature called D5GI. D5 Render is a Blender render engine that has been getting a bit of traction lately, and the people behind it have recently made a CG challenge called the D5 Render Challenge. Anyway, if you are wondering why you should use D5 compared to any other render engine, follow along in this video to take a look at these amazing projects made using it. Alright, let's get started with this first project, which is a sci-fi short film called Skyloop. The project was created entirely in Blender, rendered in D5 and post-produced in DaVinci Resolve. The movie tells a story in the near future, when the uncontrolled use of energy by humans is causing disasters to spread over the planet. Certain businesses will make unsuccessful attempts to receive the Biosphere 2 that was created in 1991. Now they want to locate a new home in the universe as a result of their futile attempts to save the world. A renowned aviation expert who had survived a space accident brought a groundbreaking engine technology back to Earth at this crucial time. People can now escape the calamitous Earth thanks to this new technology. This strategy was given the name Skyloop by overclocking heavy industry amid hopes and skepticism. The interesting thing is that the models were mainly from the D5 library of assets which you can also use to build amazing scenes. I really like the whole atmosphere in this project and how everything goes well together, thanks to D5 rendering capabilities. Another project we're gonna talk about is called Sonyara. This one doesn't really tell a deep story like the previous one, but rather showcases rural Chinese nature and houses. What I like the most about this project is the cozy atmosphere that covers the scene and the little effects, like the leaves and the fire that is spread all over the environment. The models that the artist used look great, and the voiceover and music in the video were amazing, making this project look professional. The project was done in Blender and Max and rendered in D5, and this shows that D5 can work with both software perfectly, which is a good news. Just so you know, aside from this project being amazing, it won the Intel Special Prize. The next project is a short 3D visualization of the apartment from the show called Big Bang Theory. The level of detail in this animation is absolutely crazy. I mean it looks like an exact copy of the original room. Everything looks realistic, from scratches on the door to the poster and figurines. Even how the books were arranged look very convincing and sells the believability of the scene. Actually, I would say many people would say that this actually a real-life footage not made using 3D software. With that being said, the latest version of D5 introduced D5GI, which is an advanced global illumination solution that allows you to light an interior scene without even placing a single light source yourself manually. So lighting shouldn't be a problem not anymore. Moving on, this is probably my favorite project so far because it has a very unique style. The work in this project is 100% original, including the landscapes, that were made in Minecraft block style and combined with the Hue style architecture from Southern Anhu in China. The animation was made using the Minecraft MCR file and Blender, and then rendered in D5. The artist behind it made a whole fictional city that covers an area over 1.5 square kilometers, and he was actually inspired by some ancient cities and scenic spots in China. The next project on our list is called Resistance. This is an amazing animation showcasing a hardcore sci-fi cityscape. The story in this animation is about a new alien creature that is invading Earth. In order to fight against the mysterious forces of aliens, humans have built military outposts in tropical rainforests with emergency personnel to respond to the crisis. The models used in this animation were huge, and I think it took some time to convert all of them to D5. 
However, D5 was able to handle all of these objects with ease. Another cool project we're gonna talk about today is a time lapse making of, of a cinematic reverse side cabin. This one is a small animation showcasing an abandoned house in the middle of the forest surrounded by a small river. If you want to learn how to do this kind of animation, you can check out the time lapse of the artist himself and how he managed to create this project. Now we're gonna jump to another project called Oblivion. This one probably has the most realistic render so far. It is an animation showcasing a sci-fi and futuristic world that is empty of all human beings. The project, in my opinion, can be the best of the bunch, with the most realistic render so far, especially the environments. The animation, lighting, models, and everything else looks really good. But what actually surprised me the most is the level of realism that the artist delivered by rendering the project using D5, which I believe most people don't think that it is capable of getting these results. With the abundance of high quality assets from the D5 asset library and the diverse features to create realistic environments, weather and effects in D5, I bet he had a great time creating these renders, especially when it comes to how easy and fast it is. As I said before, Almost all of these projects were entries in the D5 Blender challenge, and seeing challenges like these is always good because it shows that the D5 render community has momentum behind it and has some talented artists who can deliver professional work. Also seeing interesting projects like these shows that the Blender D5 workflow can be powerful and efficient, and can be even production ready. Anyways, let me now respond to some of the questions that you guys left in the comment section of the previous video that we made about D5. The first question is, why D5 can be a good alternative to Cycles and EV? Well, let me give you a technical reason. D5 can achieve an export output of a 0.5 second per frame even for 4K animations. And it is not only quick, but offers you precise results for lighting and reflections that are closer to reality. It can also handle big, complicated scenes while maintaining a fluid preview and user experience, making it essentially an all-in-one solution that takes care of assets, post-production, environment settings and animations, and ensuring that you don't need any other software in the workflow. Another question is, what makes D5 a good alternative to using Unreal Engine? Now, D5 is a strong tool that is also lightweight, but most importantly, it is simple and intuitive. You can get started easily and get the feel of it pretty quickly for your project. Furthermore, whether you are newbie or professional, you can benefit from it. It allows you to live sync with most of the mainstream DCC modeling software. In general, we can say that it is beneficial to try new things, especially if you work in fields of interior design, architecture, or CGI in general as a 3D artist. Not to mention that D5 can accelerate your workflow and serve as an excellent efficiency tool. As I said before, this software is free to download, so there is barely any cost to try it. Finally, you will have a nice time using D5, since the D5 team is assiduously developing this promising visualization software, and the good thing is, it has a welcoming and expanding community. If you are interested in D5, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.